Hello, Internet! Right, in this video, um, we're going to do some stuff with Python. We're going to download some images from a website using web scraping. This is the fifth video in the web scraping series, I think. Um, I should point out, if you've clicked on this video and are like, oh, how do you download images with the Python? But you don't really care if you're using Python, you just want to download some images. I have another video for that. It might be quicker for you. So go in the description. There's one on downloading things with the wget command. That might be quicker for you. If you do want to faff around with Python, by all means, this isn't going to take very long. So yes, let's 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 go ahead and do some stuff. So nothing in the folder at the moment. Uh, we've got this website here. We're going to do some web scraping. Uh, let's start off by creating a file called main.py. We'll add a cheeky little shebang. Uh, I don't even need to do this to be fair for this, but whatever, we'll do it anyway. Python three. Uh, then we need to do some imports, so uh, we'll do from BS4. BS4 is beautiful soup, so we're going to import beautiful soup as BS. And we're also going to import from requests, uh, import the get method. Um, quick thing if you haven't installed the beautiful soup module, you'll need to do uh, pip install beautiful soup press enter and it will download you the beautiful soup you require uh you don't have to do that for request because request is an inbuilt python module library whatever you want to call it first let's save the uh url so we need to get that so command l switch back copy and paste why is that gone on a new line luckily we're using vim so we can switch it back real quick um and so we've got the url uh, let's first actually just get the gubbins that we want so we can do something like this we can do soup uh, it's going to be BS or BS uh, do, 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 do. get URL dot text uh, and then we want to pass in the string HTML dot parser because beautiful soup can also be used to parse other things I think other the other thing is H, uh, XML uh, so if we were to quickly do a quick print of the soup, we should see that this will look like some HTML. Oh, look at that. There's some HTML and other things. And we can see that we've got the copyright for album of the year 2020. Ooh, isn't that fun? Which means we're getting the right page. Um, so we're going to download all these images. I'm not going to go through all of them, but I picked this one because there's a few little things that you might run into uh, when you're doing this with any other website um, that you might want to pay attention to. So first thing, let's bring up the Chrome DevTools, which is F12 if you're on Windows. It's also F12 if you're on a Mac, but you have to press the function key. Uh, you can also do Command-Alt-J and that will bring it up. That brings up the console. Uh, what we're then going to do is click on this little button over here, this cheeky little button there. Click on that, click on one of the images, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so people can see. There you go. And we're going to try and get the image. Now, uh, so if we look at the structure of this, as you highlight over things, it's going to highlight um, elements on the page because Chrome's very useful like that. Uh, so what I think we're going to do is we're going to look for this album list cover class. Uh, must here, but we don't care about the must live here bit. We're just going to get the album cover bit. That's going to find us this div. So then we're going to be working within the context of this div for every album that there is, right? So um, what we want to do is we want to get, I think, maybe the biggest image, which is uh, will be this one and the second one here. So this is the 400x one, so I suspect that's the biggest one. Uh, so, But this is weird, though, because normally you just have like an image class, which we have here. But this image class here is a small one, it's 200 by 200 pixels, so we don't really care about that. So I'm going to pick this one just to show you what you can do um, in terms of weird elements, because source is a weird one, and also data source set is a weird thing to have. Uh, so if you know how to get the image from here, then you know how to get it from everything else as well. It's pretty much the same thing. This is just a special weird case that I've decided to pick. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, write the script to get everything so we'll knacker off that line don't care about that anymore uh, what we want to then do is we'll get all of the album covers and the way we'll do that is we'll just say something like oh, mm, what should we call it albums 
if he can type. Uh, and to get that, we're going to call soup.find underscore all, and then we're going to get the div. So back here, in case you're wondering what I'm doing, uh, div is here. We're getting this album list cover. That is a div class, so we need to say to Beautiful Soup, find me the div, and then we're going to give it this class name here. So we'll say find uh, me a div, um, give it the attributes, uh, we want to give it a class here, and then it wants to be album. Well, if I, it should be in a string like this: album list cover. Um, no, we don't actually need the second bit. Like I said, we don't need that must here bit. You could put it if you like; doesn't really matter. You just waste time typing out things you didn't need to type. So, this is now going to be a, a rather large array of or list, if you will of the albums and we can have a goosey goosey gander at that save that and have a run oh no look at that the the thing that's printed out is different and we can now see that we've got all the, like the different things so we've got some bo diddly over here i just saw bo diddly where's he gone bo diddly um and it's got different you know nine inch nails over here we, we see and we've, we're getting the right things the right actual div by the looks of it obviously it's difficult to read this nonsense um so what do we need to do next then well, what we need to do next is we need to say, um, we need to get that image. So remember over here, we've got this source. Now, this has got this data source set, which has two things in it, right? Which is, makes it really weird, because normally it would have a single element in it. It would just have like this, this single JPEG. But it's got two, and we want to get the one that's got 400x in it. So to do that, we're going to have to split this string up by the comma, and then take away this 2x that's at the end here and the space, which is a bit weird. So we'll do that. Um, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to iterate over those albums. So for album in albums, we are going to do, um, Shall we just create a quick? Uh, we'll create a quick little thing for the images. So we'll say images is equal to a new list like that, and we'll do work. There you go. Um, images dot append. So we're going to add to the list of images. We'll say album dot find all. And we want to find all the sources. Now, when we go through this, we're going through an individual album. So we're going to be looking for this. And it's going to get us three sources, I think. There might be more within this div that I can't see. But it should only get us three. But we only care about this first one because this is the one that's got the 400x in it. So what we'll do is we'll say get me this, find all the sources and then just take the first one, which will be uh, index zero. Once you've done that, we've now got um, an array of images. So we can do, or a list of images, Python language, whatever. There you go, we'll run that. And now we've got this whole new list of uh, source elements that have the images in them. So what we need to do next, and we could have done this, we could have actually done this in here. Um, shall we do it in here? Then we only have to iterate over it once, we'll do that. We'll do that. Okay, so we'll do something like um, image is equal, or we'll do, we'll call it source. Source is equals album dot find all source, and then zero. And then if we do, now we need to get all the, the data from here. So what we need to say is source, square brackets, data, what's it called? Source set or something like that? We'll check data source set. So we're getting this thing here right, and we're going to get that second string. Remember, second string data source set. What else do we need to do then? Well, we're going to have to split it. I think we're going to have to split it twice. So we're going to do comma space. So that's going to split the, the string where there's a comma. So there's a comma there. So it's going to split this string here and this in, and this string here into two strings, so we've got one string, two string. Then we only care about the second string in this case, which is the first index. Then we want to split the 
We don't want to split the comma. There's no comma, is there anymore? What is it? It's two. It was two x at the end. And then you want to get because of stripping two x, we want to get um, the first one in this case. So in this case, we're now taking this bit of the string here from here to this bit here. We're splitting the space and the two x. So we want to get rid of those, um, which really should leave us with one string. But we'll get. It's going to be an array of strings. So we're going to go the first index. And then we're also going to call uh, strip on it, which is going to get rid of any white space that's just chilling out there. If I do that, call this image. Now, I should point out, uh, you might want to do some better error handling than I'm bothering to do here, because we have plenty of errors that can happen here. You know, there's, there's null pointers and all sorts. That can go wrong here. But... I'm just showing you the basic procedure. If you wanted to, you know, make it all nice and robust, you could totally do that if you wanted to. Uh, and then in here, we're going to do change in word and do image. That was cool. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering how I just did that, how I managed to make the whole thing in the brackets just disappear magically, uh, that is, in I'm using this editor called Vim. I've got some videos on that. If you want more of those, let me know. I just typed in CIW, which is uh, change in word. And in this case, changing word is one word in the brackets, so we can change it. You could, I could have also done um, change in, uh, and then open brackets, and that would have done the change in the open brackets. Just in case you're wondering how I did that and thought it was some sort of weird magic. Uh, right, so let's just run that and check we actually are getting the right thing, which I think we are. Yes, we are. So now we're getting some images, right? So if I was to take... I don't know, let's say this this album, this one here, do a cheeky little copy, open a new tab. Look at that, the image is there. Right, that's cool. Um, so what we can now do, we can now take this array of images and we can just download them. Uh, so the easiest way of doing this, right, is to do, uh, well, we can actually do it in here. We don't even need this images. We can, we can do it in here. We'll do it in one go. We'll do, um, do, 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 do. We will do. Let me think about this. Shall we create a method? We'll create a method. We'll do def download and then just image. And in this case, we're going to do print the image just so we know what's happening. We'll then say with open and then we'll give it a file name right uh, so the file name will be something like uh so just give it the image name yeah we'll give it the image name do image no what is the image? Well, how are these how are these like what are these like uh okay um if we can just get the last one so it'll be i think if we did that will that work Let's have a look. What was it like? Oh, I'm trying to run things now. Oh my god, what's he doing? Let's quit out of him. What does it look like? Okay, so it's got the HTTPS. So what we'll try and do, they all look about the same. We'll do a cheeky little thing where we'll say, uh, get rid of that. Image split this and then take the second, or well, take the first one because the split's going to just get rid of it, isn't it? Yeah, take the first one, then pass in the string WB, that stands for write bytes. Oh, that's a well long line now. Oh no. Uh, oh well. Uh, we'll do as file. And then what we need to do is just do something like file.write get img.content, like that. And uh, that's that's something Ill, inbuilt into Python, so we can just write the file, lovely, lovely jubbly. I'm not going to do it for every single one of these, so let's run it for, let's say, I don't know, like the first, uh, the first two or three, however many that is. I think that's the right way of doing that. Ooh, something's gone tits up there. That did not run, did it? No, it didn't. Okay, what have I done? wrong for albums in albums oh yeah you just see what i've done wrong there um i have decided that i won't even bother calling the method i've just called so 
So we'll do download image. Ah! Okay, cool. Um, okay, that's fine. I was wrong about this bit. This bit here should be numero one. Come on, work. There we go. That's downloaded two files. If we have a goosey goosey gander in here now, look at that. We have two files, although it doesn't look like it because they're sort of next to each other. That's easier. You can see it now. So if I was to do something like uh, open funeral one. Oh my God, look at that. It's downloaded the file. Wow. There we go. And it all worked as well. Usually in my videos, the things go tits up many times before anything starts working. But this one has worked perfectly well. So, uh, yes, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Uh, this was uh, from a request that someone made. Um, yeah, link to the code will be in the doobly-doo, most likely. Any questions, let me know. Um, I'm rambling. I never can end the videos. Arrivederci, au revoir, bonjour. Tata for now.